Hey, it's Sean David here. In this video, I'm going to talk about marketing segmentation and how you can use Tableau to build out some interactive buyer personas. In this first page here of three, so we've got the overview tab, the aggregate survey data tab, and then the individual market segment breakdowns. In this overview, it just kind of lays the scene out. So this fictional all-American health food organization selling food. You can see that they have two categories, so health food and low cost. Um, the health food is selling pretty high, much higher than the low cost, which is, this is the low cost segment is what we're going to focus on in this case study. So the marketing team has put together a survey targeting those who buy in the low cost, cost category to start figuring out what are this what's the psychology that's causing these people to buy so we had our data scientists do some clustering analysis and clustered this market into three main segments so we have environmental eric he's typically male between 18 and 35 lives in the city and he really cares about the environment and his carbon footprint um price savvy sarah is female between the age of 30 and 45 typically lives in the rural low cost areas and she is very price sensitive. And then value driven Victor, he is an older male who lives in the more affluent suburbs and he wants to buy the product with the highest price. So that kind of sets the stage of here's what we're looking at. So let's look at the, the high level survey data. So you can see 174 people were surveyed and here's the breakdown of each of the clusters. So it's, it's pretty much evenly split into thirds with environmental Eric having a little bit lower than price savvy Sarah and the value driven Victor. So we're looking at all segments right now aggregated. So you can see that overall people who buy in the low cost category, they do care about the environment and value is very important. It's almost a 50 50 split whether price is important. And right here we can see so this is survey respondents over time. And this we'll get more into this in the next slide. But I just wanted to show you kind of an aggregate breakdown of the data. And we also have filters over here so we can look at, well, let's look at female versus male. So here's the female, as you can see, it's kind of intuitive that the price savvy Sarah is going to make up the majority of those respondents who are females with some environmental Eric, very few value-driven victors. And let's look at male. So value-driven victor is the largest demographic within the male gender. Very few price savvy Sarahs. So let's look at the difference here. So 82% of females do care about the environment versus 70% of males. So these small little insights can start to come in to play when you start wanting to make targeted ads. So this isn't a huge great example, but if you're making an ad a campaign around their your environmental initiative, you may want to target more females and males. So let's get into the segment breakdown. So now we're looking at time series the gender ratio, age segment, and then response, and also the geo map here. So you can see where these people live. So let's drill down into the segments. So environmental Eric, as we saw in the first slide, he is very clustered to the city. He is not extremely strong male, but he is male leaning. And he is only between 18 and 35. Like the segment suggests, he's very he cares very much about the environment. Um, about split on price and value is still important to him. Price savvy Sarah, you can see the so this is very different from the, the previous segment. Hundred percent care about price, and you can see they're kind of clustered out in the out away from the city and the more lower income areas. And unlike. Environmental Eric, this, this spans all three age segments. And then let's look at value-driven Victor. 
Okay. So he is, these are the higher incomes. <clears throat> if you know anything about Greensboro, these are kind of where there are a lot of the uh, more fluent people live. Um, what's interesting here is that it looks like there's some seasonality here. Um, during the winter months, they he this demographic buys more, and then during the summer months, it drops off. So this is where you can start to get a little creative and start giving a narrative to each segment. So value-driven Victor, he cares about value. What we can assume or what we could put forth is that during the summer months, he's off traveling somewhere. And during the winter months is the better time to target him because that's when he's around and he's buying food at his local grocery store. So yeah, this was a, a cool little walkthrough that we put together. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Thank you.